Good evening, I'm Danny, and I'm the author and narrator of this story. Is this a Jane Doe, Esther? Yes, Doctor. The EMS says she has to stand up fall down the stairs in her wheelchair at the cloisters. I call this a story because truth is elusive, subjective, and fleeting. I also call this a story because I was high like that the wine over to a she don't have no wallet, no identification, nothing. She got a plastic bag with some small articles there. All she got in there is some mints, a book of crossword puzzles, and some chessmen cookies. My grandfather Francis James was loved by many and admired by all. God and my Whitney, my baby girl, will become a tea drop to die. My grandfather went hungry so his children could eat. I'm the smartest four-year-old in Carney, New Jersey. Oh, I don't think so, Papa. My grandfather was an alcoholic who suffered from occasional outbursts. Oh, 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 oh. My mother never became a teacher of the deaf. Instead, she made a promise, and later she kept a secret. Who are you? I'm your doctor. Who are you? I'm afraid we haven't had much luck figuring that out. It's funny. You can remember my name. You can remember that no one loved you. No man lady. Anisia misteriosa. A bearable thing to be a burden to your children, Doctor. I understand. It's terrible and unbearable. Yes. <laughs> My sister, Justina, she was born seven years later than me. She's always hated me, Danny. I mean, even when she loved me, it was in spite of herself. Yeah, well, running away from home like a fucking maniac doesn't do much to iron out those outstanding mother-daughter issues, Mom. Means like friend. Oh. 